Hey guys, it's great talking to a camera and feeling that you're in front of me, so let's make this happen. I want to talk about Pesach Sheni. The Medrash tells us, Ish Ish, um, and the Medrash learns from that that there are two people that are exempt from Pesach Sheni. The two people that are exempt from Pesach Sheni is a person who was a katan. He was not a gadol during Pesach Rishon, but rather a katan during Pesach Sheni. And Rabbim. If Rabbim would not be a Pesach Rishon, they would be exempt from a Pesach Sheni. And I think the message here is very, very profound and tremendously empowering. And the message is as follows. The Torah is giving us a second opportunity, a second chance. Who is it giving a second chance to? To those people that were either Tomei during Pesach Rishon, they just didn't reach the level of Tara that they were expected to reach, or they were B'derech Rechoka, they tried, they tried to close the gap, they tried to stretch out and really get to it, but they were not capable because, in essence, they were Derech Rechoka. Those people, the Torah is giving them a second chance, a second opportunity. Okay, you missed Pesach Rishon, you have the option right now to go ahead and do Pesach Sheni. But there are two scenarios where you will not get a second chance. If your attitude and approach is an attitude of a katan, you're not willing to take the responsibility and say, the reason I didn't make it, the reason I didn't reach, the reason I didn't get to it was because I was a katan. I was a child. I wasn't capable of taking responsibility. If that's true, then you're not getting a second chance and a second opportunity. Or alternatively, it's the Rabbim. Don't blame me. It's my surroundings. It's my environment. It's my grandmother. It's my brother. It's my siblings. It's my children. Don't do that. Go ahead and take responsibility and say, listen, I did not make it to Pesach Rishon. Why? Because I was Tomei. It was me. I was B'derech Rechoka. I understand. I realize what I was missing. I, made, I realize what I was lacking. Now I'm stepping towards that approach and towards that opportunity. I'm taking advantage. I'm seizing the moment. And I'm saying, okay, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give me a second chance. Let me swing at the bat for a second time. And if I swing, since I took responsibility on my first miss, I have a chance and a shot to really make it. And therefore, I will go ahead and make it in my Pesach Sheni. So the concept of life is a very profound message which relates to each and every one of us. The Torah is saying you could miss. There are scenarios where you could be tummy. There are scenarios where the truth is, you are B'derech Rechoka. But if you take the responsibility, and you're willing to come and say, I wasn't Tameh B'derech Rechoka because I was a Katan, but rather because I understood that I really did not seize the moment and did not take advantage. I wasn't Tameh B'derech Rechoka because of the Rabbim, but rather I'm taking responsibility and saying, I blew it, I missed it. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu, please give me a second shot and a second opportunity. Here comes the Torah and says, you have Pesach Sheni. Maybe, by the way, ER in general represents this concept. Maybe ER, that Chodesh, which has no Yantif at all, but on the other hand, it's connecting between Pesach, Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, and Matan Torah. I guess we should stop. <laughs>